most households in Canada were, were heating with wood because we live in the country that happens to have more trees, I think, than any others. Um, we have huge forests in Canada. And, um, but in the cities, many, many people started using coal from, from probably from the 1880s onward. Um, coal resembled wood in a lot of ways as a, as a heating fuel. Uh, first of all, it involved quite a bit of work, even after people had it delivered. And I, many people have told me the stories of the sounds and the, the dirt involved in, in using coal for, for heating and, and for cooking. Uh, people, they would either the Sometimes a, a truck would back into the into people's garden or into their driveways, and then tip the water, tip the coal down a chute into the basement. Um, for many people, they didn't have a driveway, and so they remember the coal and putting the hundred-pound packs of sacks of coal on their backs, and then trudging over, and then again, usually dumping it down a chute. Um, and women have told me that they couldn't possibly, nobody could do their laundry on the coal delivery day because they would of course hang their clothes out on the line because the dryers hadn't been invented yet. So they, um, they would do that and if they were, if the coal was being delivered, the, the white sheets or anything would just get covered with coal dust. So also again it was a, a form of, of fuel and energy that involved everybody in the family so women didn't tend to the adult women didn't tend, they were they were more managers of the coal except when it came to actually putting it into the to the coal stove itself but children were very much involved in that in carrying it there would be they would have a coal scuttle or sometimes a, a coal pail that they would go so they would go into the basement and get the coal and bring it up and, and put it into the um, into the fireplace M most people some people in cities did have furnaces coal powered furnaces um, but like the like the coal stove it still had to be fed you still had to go down every um, every probably three to four hours. The coal burned hotter and it burned longer than wood, so it was an improvement in those ways. It was also more expensive in most places. But um, so it was something again very very different from oil. When oil came along, oil could be automated. So and the implications of automation for this generation of historians. I, I just think it's been so, so underestimated. I, I have interviewed people who, who have told me unequivocally that, that people never could go on holidays, like there was no such thing as going south for, the, for you know, a week or let alone a month in the winter because people couldn't leave their houses. Um, if they had indoor plumbing, they couldn't leave their houses because the plumbing would um, uh, freeze uh, and there was no, the, you just simply couldn't leave your house. Even in, in rural areas there was a kind of a 12-hour a period that you could be away. So for people who've heard, heard about the barn dances that they used to have and people would you know come back like really late at night but they couldn't stay over because literally they had to keep the home fires burning and it was a really big deal if the if the wood stove uh, you know went out it was an even bigger deal if the coal uh, stove or furnace um, went out they were very difficult to light it was something for example that children were really not allowed to do um, so the systems of, of automation that later came they just had a profound influence on our daily lives. And indeed, there are historians arguing um, that it wasn't until there was running water in houses until, and until there was electricity or oil that women were able to leave the home to go to work elsewhere. Because their work inside the home in keeping, you know, what I would call keeping the energy systems going inside the house was so vital and nobody else could do it. It was still relying on, on human um, muscle power, <laughs> just muscle power and, and actions to keep those things going. That's 